Oh, well that was odd. Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming and episode 5 of Pilot Season and what's this? UFO Extraterrestrials? Well I did threaten it about a year and a half ago. Let's play the introduction again with recording working. Hey! Decent music! Get down! Boom ba boom ba boom ja boom Boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom Vipers! Ho! That asteroid belt seems very... Um... Well, Dragon 1 to station control. Light. We've entered Sector Alpha. This is, this is better music than XCOM, I think. I'm actually jiving away in my seat here. Oh god, I did this in Mass Effect 2 as well. The worst part of the game. Great, Platinum. Alright, well yeah, th this is great fun. Oh my god, is this going to... Is this the whole introduction of this game? Oh, oh. Alert, alert. Dragon 1 to station control. We've located suspicious spacecraft in Sector C3. I find the fonts they use for alert like very alert. dull. It's probably a shipment of weapons for rebels on Sorrenta. Let's see what they are carrying. Bad dialogue. Go, guys. Let's see what they are carrying. Indeed, let's. Or well, let's just fly into the sun. Now, that seems just as prudent. This is Dragon One. We've just entered Sector C3. Do you already know who they are? We think that they're smugglers. Find out what exactly they're doing. Roger that, ma'am. What uh, the hell is that? Uh, I can't believe it. Can you see it, guys? Yep, yeah, this is almost as bad as the original Resident Evil. I've got a visual on it. These ships look very, very in strange. In terms of dialogue. I've never seen dialogue. a ship that looks like that before. Look at them, Frank. Uh, what do you think I'm doing in here, doll? They have a strange shape. Like a disc. Oh, saucer. It's strange that they're not fleeing. It is Frank, strange. they're turning. Jesus, where are they going? Well, I don't know. Uh, you should ask. Well, actually, I was about to say you should ask Jesus, but you just did. Oh, well, watch out! Maybe. Oh dear. Okay. Well. And that's what happens when you ask Jesus. What? Well, might not speak with a little bit of urgency. But they got Jane. I, I think you should be screaming down the comms at this point. You shouldn't just be. Sp oh well. Clearly, this is what sets them apart from someone like me. I'm shooting. Wahoo! maneuver. Ha ha! Yeah, full hit. But he's still standing. Shit. And somehow that you missile, that missile is still there. Damage. It is not possible. It we'll is not possible, but it somehow warhead. it was. It will rip them into pieces. Not at all. They don't seem to know the. Oh, well, okay. We'll fire out the missile that won't blow up. I'm seeing where this is going. Another big one. Still no damage. This isn't filling me with, with what hope. What the hell for this is going game. on? It's unbelievable. They must be invincible. That that must be it. That's the most obvious of? explanation. <laughs> I think. Is there, are they really, are you really doing this? Are you really following them round to the dark side of the planet? Yeah, you dumb bastards. You deserve everything you're getting. Rapid intake of breath. Stick your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. That was well deserved. UFO extraterrestrial.
Barry Burton. What settings do we have here? All right, well we'll go we'll go with it how it currently is. I think. Go for a new game. Let's go for it on. Let's go for hard difficulty on this game. Oh, hello. This is an Earth. Okay. Well, I've never played this game really. Uh, do we have a base? Yeah, we do. We do have. We've got two Raptors. And we have a raider. I'm guessing that's like two barracudas and a triton. Okay, so what does our... Oh no, this is making things. Oh god, oh god, it's all coming back to me. Uh, oh no, what am I doing? I'm just being drawn into this. John Locke? Damn it, if we can't get them in Nicewind Dale. Jack Johnson. Got a celebrity. John Locke. Oh, no, no, we've already got John Locke, haven't we? Uh, this guy is Captain Black. Sarah Beckett. I like the name doll, but Sarah, you are going to be becoming... You know what? I am going to go for someone who has been leaving fantastic comments on my videos. This girl is a critical fumble. I'd sure like a critical fumble with her, despite the fact she looks a bit like a man. Brian Hill? Brady the Penguin. Well, no, I'm not saying that. Brady the Penguin. And Thomas Peterson. As another frequent commenter, I think. And given how much this looks like Tetsubo, we'll call him Tetsubo. But now we'll go back to the standard naming culture. And of course, as people die, we will... We will no doubt be naming them after other members of the YouTube RPG Brigade, if this game gets picked, of course. If it doesn't, well, we can just forget about it. Hillary Chester. So named because... Uh, I, I don't know. Alright, um, what, what should we call Hillary Chester then? Who else do we have? Oh god, it is going back some time since last time. Uh... Uh, we used to play all that. We had Solid Snake, but this this is a woman. We'll call her Sniper Wolf. We'll stick with the Metal Gear theme. And Kelly Perry with her oddly dis uh, almost gecko-like eyes there. I think you, Kelly, can be another somewhat frequent commenter. Hmm. T -a Do we? No, we don't have different armor. Okay, so we have our our squad. Yep, yep, we we've, we've seen that already. And what's this? And this is a raptor. Raptor has missiles. This raptor has missiles. And so where's the other one? Ah. What are we... Let's research something. Let's research laser technology. That seems appropriate. Actually, we'll split it to five and five, and an advanced cannon for the ship. Doesn't this all seem very familiar to you? Good lord, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Since XCOM. It feels like it's been a long time. Not long enough, perhaps? Well, not for me to say. Well, it may be a good idea, however, to buy some more people. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. It doesn't seem that you can just hire humans in this game. It seems slavery, or the the, uh, the purchase and uh, sale of men and women, is no longer... I think we need an interrogation room, though. Are we... What good is a base without an interrogation room? And uh, we seem to be doing quite well. well. Have we got a detection system? We have. Oh, Alright. And well, we have plenty of hangers. 
Do we have rocket defences? We don't. I will be goddamned if I'm going to allow us to be caught on the hop. All right, so let's let's do what we do in XCOM. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Well, we've he's already got a rifle. John Locke's already got a rifle and a grenade, but we'll give him a pistol as well. And some pistol ammo. Because you never know. Best for everyone to have a backup, really. Of course, Captain Black, yeah, he can also have a pistol. And also have some pistol ammo. But... What, what am I going to get to? Critical Fumble. Critical Fumble can have the goddamn rocket launcher. But apparently not both. Hmm. Interesting. Brady the Penguin, you've got the car. Uh, Stimpax, that seems like a good idea. Tetsubo, you are for the time being our medic. And you can also carry some stun rockets. You're the pacifist. Oh, no, oh, might be a good idea then to actually load some of these things. Oh, great, so this, these things don't actually come <laughs> with ammo in. That would have been useful to know before we'd started equipping our men. Just as well I checked, I suppose. Ye gods. Yeah, that's the thing. These games like to catch you out by sending you on missions with no bloody ammunition. Alright. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Craven the Hunter, you can have a shotgun in your backpack. And Sniper Wolf, well Sniper Wolf's already got a rifle. Oh, you can actually load it up with more clips, oh well. And we'll give her some space, I think. We'll give her a couple of explosive rockets. But uh, room to carry some stuff. I can't even remember whether I put ammo in. And Tiaku, you can have another one of the pistols. And I don't see these aren't going in, are they? They're just really bloody... Uh, well, that was damn stupid on me. Okay, begin launch. Meanwhile, we will also send a raptor up there, and another raptor. No, well, we'll just let them, we'll let them be. That's it, main base. Raptor 2, you can go down south. Now, let's get Let's speed this bitch up. Don't know whether I have the same feelings about this game as it's not on Earth. And I don't really know why I'm specifically exploring the ocean, because this game is mostly based on land. Let's go to Illyria. And you can go to Pulsar, and you can go to Stratos. If we pick anything up... No, nope, doesn't look like it, does it? And Seethopia. God, the great names in this game. Oh no, and the raptors, just like barracudas, have run out of fuel all too quickly. Thermos, as in flask. Well, no sooner do you arrive, Mr. Triton, but you're also going to have to return, because you're running low on fuel. 
But that's all right. That's all right. We can we can live with that. All right. Well, we'll send the raptors out again. Oh damn! Cancel flight. You're not fueled up yet. God damn it! Yeah, why the hell not? I have a feeling there's going to be some alien concentration in that area of Illyria. Good. Pause and sensor. We're going for that UFO. I don't care. We're sending both, both of our ships out. In fact, you know what? We'll also send the... We'll send the Raider out as well. Begin launch. Ooh, ooh, this is exciting. Watch out, Raider. There we go. Oh, we've got a mission, people. Ding, 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 ding. Well, this is all very familiar. Ah, it seems we have Brady the Penguin, we have John Locke, Flash Gordon, Captain Black, and Critical Fumble, but no one else. Oh, well, this ship is all too small. Brady, look at all the room you're taking up, you selfish bastard. Well, this is very different in terms of graphics to the game we know and love. But it's alright, we're going to do some scouting first. Look at that, we actually leave tracks. That's amazing. Not that we know how to make people... Well, they can invent on the move in this game. How about that? How do you make people have reaction fire? Flee, invent, menu. No, no, that's not what we want. We want to return to the game. Critical fumble, you can head out there as well. Flash, you can go around the front of the ship. Just in case you know what these aliens are like. You've encountered them before. But how do we get them to duck and want to have snapshots and so on? I'm guessing they'll just do it automatically. Oh, someone's shooting at you, Brady. There, and there he is. Pooh, someone's trying to take our submarine down. And Brady, I, I, I'm worried you're, you've blown up. Or at the very least, you've become injured. Uh, Brady, you seem to have gas. Okay, we want to shoot at this bugger. What should we go for? Let's go for the 51% with the... Uh, yeah. Take this, you scum fuck. Alright, maybe not. I think what Brady just did was use up pretty much all of his action points. You stupid boy. Oh, and that worked. Well, it killed him. I think that was what was necessary. We'll explore a little more with the... No, we don't really have many more, more remaining action points. Ah, oh, we're in bad land now. Captain Black can explore down there. Having ascertained that there's nothing up here, John Locke will back up Captain Black. Hmm, odd. And Flash Gordon. Oh, is that an alien? I'm guessing that is an alien. Flash! Shoot to that mother. Hmm, what shall we go for? Let's go for a burst from the rifle. Pow! And again! Oh! And the third time! Whammo! Well done, Flash Gordon. Our first confirmed kill, not reliant on being inside a vehicle. Oh, and there's another alien, I'm guessing. I don't know what these aliens do, because, you know, having never really played this before... Yeah, so I thought that was Brady with the gas, but it may have actually been uh, 
the weapon that they fired. It was some sort of gas weapon. We'll, we'll just run over the corpse to make sure. Well, this is practically XCOM, isn't it? For all intents and purposes, it is the same game. Oh, and there's an alien. There's another one of those sort of flying gourds. But not enough action points. Oh, no, no, we do have enough action points to get a snapshot off. Not a good one. All right. Captain Black, it's up to you. You're going to have to kill this floating aubergine. Although the accuracy on your shot isn't going to be particularly good. I think we're going to have to move you up a bit more. A little bit worried now. Let's go for as accurate as he can be. It was good enough. Well done, Captain Black. Alright, we're not doing too badly uh, exploring this. Oh. I tried to move Captain Black instead of selecting Critical Fumble. It's alright. It's alright. We seem to be doing okay for now. Brady really does get an advantage, doesn't he? And there it is. There's that hulk of a ship that we want to take. Flash, I hope you're not feeling too out on your own, but you're out on your own. Let's hope no one shoots at him. Oh! Your time has come. Oh god, that sounds a bit ominous, doesn't it? Where are these aliens? There's one, and there's another. I don't like that. Your time has come. Hmm. We're going to have to go for it, I think. A solid shot there from Critical Fumble, and the reaction fire fell short. Oh, go on, Critical Fumble. You can take this one down. You're going to have to. Ah, oh, the second shot went wide. And I don't think... Uh, no, you don't have enough action points to do anything else except get behind cover. And as you don't seem to have the option to actually kneel, we will move over to Captain Black. Who no, has no real range on this thing. How about now? It's slightly better. Slightly better. No line of fire though, apparently. Well, now we've put the cat among the pigeons, haven't we? Three shots. At 1% chance each. I don't like those odds. Neither did Captain Black. Alright then. Brady, we are entirely reliant on your shooting skills. Good luck. We're all behind you. Um, uh, let me try that again. Good luck. We're all behind you. Alright, that's one down. And now we'll go for another snapshot, I think. We need to... Oh, dear. Alright, this could get messy. Ah, oh, Brady, what are you doing? Okay, then. In that case, it's up to Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon to save the day, except he doesn't have the time units, or action points rather. Let's hope he... Let's hope this alien just tries to wipe Brady out, because Brady's at least armoured. Oh, And another alien that misses completely, and we do feel the need to track its shot. And again. Give it another go. Alright. Oh dear. Uh, Brady? Brady! Oh dear. Poor Brady. Ah well. 
You know, there will always be people that die in these games. Something that you just got to get used to. It's part of life. You can't win every battle. Especially with shooting like that. Alright, well this already puts the cat among the pigeons, because... I'm not sure... Oh, no, no. We, we did bring it down. We brought it down. Now, can Critical Fumble make the kill? Uh, I don't know. I doubt it. So, 1% chance. I think that first one may have actually hit. That one definitely did not. Alright. We've gone through all of... Oh, no, I've, I've been forgetting about John Bloody Lock. Ah! Oh. Flash is feeling his feet getting slightly warm now. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I would have done. Shoot Flash Gordon in the groin. Flash, how are you feeling? Not too hot, I'm guessing. He, yeah, that's what I would do as well. If he's going to shoot you at point blank range. I'm guessing that means as well that uh, he's losing one hit point a turn. Come on, John. 8% chance and 92% chance you're going to miss. The accuracy is crippling in this game, isn't it? But we did, we did put it on hard difficulty. You know, we can't complain too much. And indeed, we won't. All right, Captain Black, make the difference. You you stand a damn good chance of actually shooting Flash Gordon here, or indeed no one at all. This could all end very badly for Flash. Yep, yep. Flash Gordon is dead. First round, and Flash Gordon is down. Oh no! Apparently he's uh, he's in need of medical attention. But he's not necessarily dead. Well, we can change that, can't we, John? Come on, Critical Fumble. Don't live up to your name. What the hell are you doing shooting over there? My dear. This is one tough alien. Alright, Captain Black. You show how shooting is... You know, just because it's up the screen doesn't mean it's actually uphill. Oh, dear God. Alright, where are you, John? No. Alright, good luck. He just decided to shoot Critical Fumble from every conceivable angle. You know, I can get behind that. Oh, Lord Almighty. Who recruited these mercenaries? And where were they recruited from? I'm guarantee they lied in their, on their CVs when they said they could actually shoot straight. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You know, I, it, may be, it may just be the percentile chance. But, um... It, and it's probably something to do with the fact that we've got difficulty on hard. But this seems outrageously... <laughs> Come on, slightly far, far, farther forward. That's it, Captain Black. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. I knew we should have used the rocket launcher. And still, he does not die. Yeah, well, if I was that injured, John, I would be missing as well. But really, why are you killing the cactus? Uh, 
No, oh, can't even throw a grenade. Now we've just got to rely on the aliens being incapable of shooting straight as well. Fortunately, they seem to be seem to have been schooled in the same. Oh dear. It's all up to Captain Black. How close do you have to be to be able to shoot straight with a rifle? I I would just stick it in my mouth now, Captain. See those little green rays of light that keep going past your eyes? That's your imminent, imminent death. Captain Black, all fairness to him, took more shots than anyone else, but he is indestructible, just like Captain Scarlet. Go on, make make one of these count. Your one percent shots. Uh, this is a difficult game. And not not content, the critical fumble. Oh dear. Okay, well that was our first mission of UFO extraterrestrials. We will start it again if you decide that you want to watch this game, maybe on a slightly lower difficulty setting. Thank you for watching.